Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi is in Papua New Guinea, where he addressed the Forum of India-Pacific Islands Cooperation Summit. He also held bilateral talks with the Prime Minister James Marape today. The Indian Prime Minister arrived in the country on Sunday after attending the G7 summit in Hiroshima, Japan. This is the first time an Indian Prime Minister is visiting Papua New Guinea. India and the United States are actively seeking to counter Beijing's influence in the Indo-Pacific. Papua New Guinea will sign a defense pact to the United States. The defense cooperation agreement will give U.S. troops access to the Pacific nation's ports and airports. The Pacific Island nation is strategically located close to trade routes to Australia and Japan. Washington and New Delhi are concerned that Beijing is trying to woo tiny nations with diplomatic and financial incentives. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken will be holding separate talks with 14 Pacific leaders, including New Zealand Prime Minister Chris Hipkins. Prime Minister Narendra Modi landed in the nation's capital port, Mosby, on Sunday night. Modi was met by a gun salute traditional dancers. Papua New Guinea's Prime Minister even extended his hand to touch Prime Minister Narendra Modi's feet. In Indian tradition, the gesture is meant to show respect to elders and receiving their blessings. As per reports, China has been pouring money into countries into the Pacific. This has alarmed New Delhi and its allies in the Quad. New Delhi is increasing its engagement with Pacific Islands. This is due to their strategic location and fears that China could dominate the region. Prime Minister Narendra Modi addressed the third summit of the Forum for India-Pacific Islands Corporation, or the FIPIC, which is currently underway. Post the summit, bilateral talks have been scheduled between the participating countries. <laughs> मल्टीलेटरलिज्म में विश्वास रखते हैं फ्री ओपन और इंक्लूसिव इंडो पैसिफिक का समर्थन करते हैं सभी देशों की संप्रभुता और अखंडता को सम्मान करते हैं ग्लोबल साउथ की आवाज भी यूएन सुरक्षा परिषद में बुलंदी से उठनी चाहिए इसके लिए अंतर्राष्ट्रीय संस्थाओं का सुधार हमारी साझा प्राथमिकता होनी चाहिए आफ्टर द समिट इंडियन प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी विल इंटरेक्ट विद स्कॉलर्स फ्रॉम द इंडियन टेक्निकल एंड इकोनॉमिक कॉपरेशन प्रोग्राम बिफोर डिपार्टिंग फॉर सिडनी वेयर इज शेड्यूल्ड टू स्पेंड द नेक्स्ट टू डेज Well, ahead of Prime Minister Modi's visit, Australian Prime Minister Anthony Albanese said Australia and India share a commitment to a stable, secure and prosperous Indo-Pacific. Together, we have an important role to play in supporting this vision. This is the first time Prime Minister Modi is visiting Australia since 2014. Prime Minister Modi will hold bilateral talks and meet Australian business leaders. He will return to India on Wednesday night. And for more on this, we are now being joined by our principal diplomatic correspondent, Sid Hunt Sibol, live from Sydney. Hi, Sid Hunt. After Papua New Guinea, the Prime Minister will head to Australia, where you are right now. What is planned for Modi in Australia, even though the Quad Summit has been cancelled? What will be the significance of his trip there? Well, the Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi reaches uh, Australia at around 8 p.m. local time. Now, this is a two-day visit which has two key focus area. First, of course, is the people-to-people -people relationship in terms of the diaspora connect. There's a mega diaspora event that has been play planned and uh, the Indian Prime Minister along with the Australian Prime Minister will be addressing the diaspora event. The second, of course, uh, is the bilateral aspect in terms of the political leadership uh, we know that uh, the australian prime minister was in uh, delhi earlier this year and now a reciprocal visit has been uh, is in fact going to start uh, very soon uh, the visit of course focuses on strengthening defense cooperation security cooperation and also making sure that uh, 
when it comes to migration of Indians to Australia, that becomes uh, easier. Now, essentially, this is a relationship which has seen many convergences. Both India and Australia are part of uh, the Quad grouping. In fact, uh, both the leaders uh, met uh, uh, over the weekend in Japan, in Hiroshima, uh, on the sidelines of the G7 outreach meeting. But essentially, there are certain thorns as well, which includes uh, the Khalistani violence, uh, which has been something that the Indian Prime Minister himself has publicly called the Australian side to take action on. So uh, there will be a lot of things on the table as the Indian Prime Minister travels to Australia in his second visit since 2014 to the country. Siddhan Sabal, the Indian Prime Minister has been on a wild wind tour of three nations and in focus is the Indo-Pacific and bolstering ties. What's the view of Pacific countries on Modi's global outreach program? Well, Pacific has been a major component of uh, the Indian Prime Minister's three-country visit. Now, we know that the Pacific visit is still underway and the Indian Prime Minister, early in the day, addressing the Pacific leaders, uh, announced that uh, New Delhi is committed to free and open Indo-Pacific and uh, assured them of capacity building and sharing of technology in every sense possible. Now, a 12-point agenda has been announced for strengthening India-Pacific relationship, which includes establishment of hospitals in Fiji, in Papua New Guinea. Uh, it is uh, focusing on the Jaipur uh, Lim. Other than that, uh, the focus uh, has been on how both sides can work together in terms of uh, connectivity as well. But largely, we know that the visit to the Pacific countries, uh, the visit to, in fact, Papua New Guinea meeting with the Pacific leaders comes at a time when there has been increased geopolitical contestation in that part of the world. We know that China has been trying to increase its influence uh, even as uh, Australia, which is the nearest neighbor to the Pacific countries, and the Americans are also keen in terms of engaging with the wider region. Finally, Siddhant, there is an issue that has been highlighted by both President Biden and Prime Minister Albanese about several people riding on Prime Minister Modi's popularity and at times even breaching protocol. Like, for instance, almost 20,000 people are expected to gather at a public rally in Sydney. Have we been able to confirm this and what's the Indian government's response to this? Well, uh, over the weekend, the Quad meeting happened and during the Quad in-person meeting in Hiroshima, there was occasions for informal chat in which uh, both the Australian Prime Minister, Al Anthony Albanese, and uh, the uh, American President, Joe Biden, talked about uh, the deluge of requests they have been getting because of the upcoming events. Now, for the Australian Prime Minister, it's uh, the diaspora event in which already 20,000 people are expected and this mega diaspora event is expected uh, to be huge in every sense possible in terms of the gathering of the people and uh, the uh, there will be presence of the Australian Prime Minister himself as well and same goes for the uh, American president who next we uh, next month in fact will be hosting the Indian Prime Minister for a state dinner now he has been getting a lot of requests that many many of the uh, segments of the society, American society, are keen to attend that state dinner. So essentially that shows uh, uh, the Indian Prime Minister enjoys the, uh, the positive uh, uh, light the Indian Prime Minister enjoys. And in fact, the, uh, the American pre uh, President went ahead to say that he would like to get an autograph from the Indian Prime Minister uh, given his growing popularity. So uh, this is something that has been part of uh, uh, the, the wider uh, news cycle around the Indian Prime Minister, not only is his diplomatic outreach, but uh, something uh, he is known for, the outreach and of course the aura as well. Live from Sydney, Australia, our principal diplomatic correspondent, Sidhan Sibol, thank you. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.